Okay, I know this is probably preaching to the choir, but these things just really seem like they're getting ridiculous. It's just really exhausting. BitChute links have just been banned on Twitter, apparently. Maybe this is just some error. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully this is just some sort of bug in the system that's preventing people from posting BitChute links. But that seems like an awfully specific bug. I kind of doubt that's the case. Um, it's probably real. They probably have actually just banned BitChute links. And this is just such a great example of the classic libertarian build your own social media platform. Because we've done that. We've done that a million times. Building your own social media platform is actually incredibly easy. There's lots of them. There's tons of them. They're all dead because no one cares about a social media platform that doesn't have a user base. And when it comes to something like Twitter, there isn't really that big of a market to have multiple Twitters. There isn't that big of a market to have multiple YouTubes, to have multiple whatevers. So they tell us, just build your own platform, just do it. And even though it's incredibly difficult because there isn't a market to have two of this thing, and you have one billion dollar company versus one tiny company that maybe has a little bit of startup cash, even th just, that, just that alone, just the market forces, makes building your own incredibly difficult. But even if you do that, even if you manage to build your own, then you're going to have everything censor you. And we still have libertarians telling us, just build your own. Now, I mean, they are getting quieter, obviously, but it, it, we still hear this stuff. We still hear it. The same exact thing happened with Subscribestar. When they got big, PayPal pulled out. You have to build your own internet platforms. You need to build your own payment processors. You need to build your own banks. Do you need to build your own roads? Do you need to build your own governments? Like, how deep does this go? Now, there are, of course, two categories when it comes to the build-your-own crowd. There are the actual libertarians who actually still believe that, as cringy as it is. And there's what the YouTuber V calls tactical anarcho-capitalists. That is, you know, communists or other leftists who pretend to be an ANCAP the moment that massive corporations start harming their political opponents. So, obviously, leftists are just being cynical. They just literally do not care about being hypocrites, so there's no point in pointing that out beyond just that. But libertarians, you're, you're not going to get your libertarian society by telling right-wingers every time a right-winger is censored, build your own, and allowing all the massive left-wing corporations to consolidate their power. Oh, I, 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 wonder, I wonder who will win. Who's going to win? The massive corporations, all of which hate libertarianism, all of which hate any sort of right-wing ideas. Or is it going to be the libertarians with absolutely zero political power? I, I wonder. I wonder who's going to win. And that's the point. Even if you are still a libertarian in the current year, and you shouldn't, but even if you are, you need to become a tactical statist for just a few issues, because you're never going to win with libertarianism if all you ever say to anything is get the government out of it. Because this is a racket, a racket the left and the corporations and academia and all those things has been doing for a very long time. Whenever it's a left-wing thing, the government does it. Whenever it's a right-wing thing, you have to do it on your own. You want to have a right-wing university? Guess what? You're going to have to pay for it 100% by yourself. Want to have a left-wing university? Oh, that's just all the universities. You don't need to call it a left-wing university. It's just all of them, and they're all paid for by the government. You want to have a left-wing digital platform? That's just all of them. Guess who gets the subsidies? Guess who gets the laws written in their favor? Guess who has all the backing behind them? The left-wing digital companies. If you want any chance at a libertarian future, you won't ever be able to get there if you forsake the same tools that everyone else is using. What libertarians do, it's not even a strategy. It's just hollering into the void. It would be like saying during an atrocity that, oh, my strategy is people just shouldn't do bad things and they should instead do good things. If this is real, if BitChute links really are banned from Twitter, where does this leave us? Will this be repeated on all the other big social media websites? How do we even make our alternative platforms grow to begin with if you're not even allowed to promote them anywhere where people actually use the internet? Am I supposed to go to my local telephone pole and have my BitChute link there? Am I supposed to email people it? Am I supposed to go on some old internet forum?
Like, h- how does any of this even work? But at least we had our liberty, right? At least the big corporations are allowed to do whatever they want, and I'm not allowed to do anything that I want. And, of course, again, the idea that any of this has to do with any sort of libertarian concept of liberty to begin with is ridiculous. These same big corporations that we have to respect the liberty of are the ones that have engineered such a lopsided and such a non-libertarian world to begin with. Restricting the privileges of these corporations wouldn't be an increase or decrease to the libertarianness of society at all. It would just be engineering, whether it is in our favor, or whether it's in the big corporation's favor and the left's favor. But, I don't know, I know this is all just preaching to the choir. None of this is going to get any better, social media is going to keep on doing this stuff, and there isn't going to be any reasonable change to prevent this. This is the one thing that Trump really could have done that could have actually benefited us in a meaningful way, and he almost certainly won't do it even if he does get re-elected. But even if it is hopeless, it still is very discouraging to hear libertarians continue to trot out these same old platitudes. It's one thing to lose, it's a whole nother thing to take pleasure in your losing, to say that your enemies are right for winning, and that it's really just the principled thing to lose. And we know that the big tech companies don't like BitChute, even though they're tiny and basically irrelevant. Not that long ago, Teal Deer did a video exposing a softer form of censorship that they've been doing, where they automatically replace the links of some videos that are mirrored on BitChute with YouTube links. So you can click on a link on YouTube, thinking that it's a BitChute link, and then it will just bring you straight to YouTube. He also showed them shadow banning those posts. And what's so bad about all this is it's not even enough to be one of the bad people that big tech doesn't like. Just allowing the bad people to exist on your platform is enough to get you censored. Just for BitChute being a neutral platform that allows anyone on is enough to get them booted. Thanks for watching. Please donate to my subscribe star if you enjoy this content. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and share these videos with anyone who you think might find it interesting. Also, quick announcement, I'll be having my follow-up stream with Sargon of Akkad this Tuesday, also of course joined by Charlemagne, so make sure to check that out. And a special thanks to my donors, Charismatic Byzantine, Quo Pregranator, Hexorius, Edzutko, Josiah, King of Evil Florida and the Moon, Seth Apex, Lita, and Emmett Vestry. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.